Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how do you add TypeScript support to your ASP.NET Co ASP Core project. Uh, when you create a .NET Core project, it does not add any support for TypeScript compilation. Uh, how do you know that? Uh, you can try it yourself. So you can create a TypeScript.NET Core project and for now I have created a folder called scripts. In this folder, I am going to add a just a test TypeScript file, and I'm just going to call it test. And as you can see, that uh, when I added a TypeScript file, there is a warning in the output window which says, "Please install the the appropriate MS Build." Uh, package to it. Uh, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna go to dependencies and say manage the packages. There you can type type script as you will type. The first option that popped up for me was M Microsoft TypeScript MS Build. I'm gonna say install it, accept, and let's wait for this package to finish installing. You can see since I already had it. Uh, now you can see the moment the package installation completed, the warning went away. Uh, now let's try it and see if this will work. I'm just gonna create just a class. For now, let's call it, give it a test. See, and we're gonna try to compile it and see if this works. Compiling, waiting. There we go. Build succeeded. Now let's check our folders. Uh, there we go. Since I had a test and it did create it, let me look at the transpiled file. Perfect. So it did create a file for me, and it has what I needed. And now. I'm just going just to be sure, I just want to make sure that it did not create any kind of unnecessary files anywhere else and we are good. But now the question is that it created the JavaScript file in the same folder where my source was. Uh, if you create a .NET Core project, you know that uh, there is a source, the root of the your content is www root. Uh, that is where all the JavaScript files are. Uh, it's not going to be of any good if the trans the compiler is going to generate the JavaScript files and then you have to manually move them into the correct folder. Uh, so how do you fix it? Uh, now you're going to need to add a TypeScript configuration file. Uh, how do you do it? Uh, pretty straightforward. You're going to say add a new item. One of the options is going to show up which says TypeScript JSON config file. It is tsconfig.json. Uh, it gets added as you can see it has some options uh, I will not go over all these options I will describe discuss these options in another tutorial the more the important thing that you need to see is an exclude option which says that when the TypeScript compiler runs it should not look in these folders uh, the reason is because these folders already contain your JavaScript files there is no need for compilation and Let's clean up the files that were generated by our previous build and we're going to remove these files and now let's try to compile it again and see what do we end up with uh, and see build succeeded. Where did the files go? Okay, let's try it. Oh, I still don't have the files where I wanted them. Uh, let's see. Uh oh, it still has created the files in the same source folder. That is not good for us. Okay, now there is another option that you can set. It's called outer, where you will tell where the output files need to go. And since that is where our JavaScript files are sitting, let's see what it does. So let's delete this to make sure that it is not. So all we have is just a TypeScript file and there we go. Now let's wait for the build to complete. Build completed. Let's see. There we go. Oh, 
there we go it did create my files in the root folder that is not good uh, it's just good so far because this is where I was so when you have a complex project uh, you probably are not going to have every file dumped into the same root folder just uh, since I am working on a asset management system I'm gonna create some subfolders under my script so that I can structure these scripts a little better I'm gonna call a folder called domain and I'm gonna move this file there as you can see now my file is not under the root folder and let's see what happens this time uh, as you can see my script source has moved into domain and I am going to delete these generated JavaScript in the map file and let's do a compilation again it's building let's wait for it to complete it should not take long completed let's see what happened to my files uh oh the files are still sitting in the root folder uh, that is not what I really wanted I want the generated JavaScript to f maintain the same structure as I had in my source which was scripts domain and under that I have to my file so how are we gonna fix that let's delete this we're gonna delete this and there is one more thing that you can do you will add another option called router and there you will tell where your source is coming from uh, yeah this is not very intuitive that why do I have to tell the source but that is what the documentation says that if you want output to follow the structure you will have to specify the root directory and when the compiler compiles the files it maintains the structure and let's see since we saved it now let's compile it before we compile let's make sure uh, the source we still have our file in the target everything is empty as far as the generated files are concerned compiling building 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 still building build completed now let's see what happened there you go now you can see under www.root.js it did create my folder that's what I wanted and that's all you have to do to add support for TypeScript in your .NET Core project. Uh, in the next tutorials, I'll go over some more options. How do you control the output and how do you use these TypeScripts in your .NET Core project. Till then, bye-bye.